Broncos fans, in my opinion, one thing you guys should be excited about in 2022 is this deep passing game and what could happen if Russell Wilson makes this deep passing game elite. If he makes it happen along with Nathaniel Hackett doing his job as HC, then things will look up for Denver. The Broncos deep passing game is one that in my mind will definitely pop off with Russell Wilson, Cortland Sutton, and even KJ Hamler. Everyone. Cortland Sutton led the NFL in air yards per target last year. He's obviously a very efficient and effective deep threat with the Broncos and now he has an elite deep ball passer in Russell Wilson to dish him the rock. I see big things happening for this duo, not only just all over the field, but mainly just deep passing. Both of these guys at the wide receiver position, at the quarterback position, are very efficient vertical threats. And the same for KJ Hamler. He's a guy that is known for his deep ball ability, and I believe he will benefit from having Russell Wilson. I believe that Russell Wilson really unlocks the potential of the deep threats on this Broncos offense, and I I think that will lead to a very explosive Denver offense. But I don't only believe that the deep ball will be the only thing alive and well for the Broncos. Because if Russell Wilson can unlock Cortland Sutton's full potential as a number one wideout, then that means that Jerry Judy will benefit off of the attention that Cortland Sutton is drawing to defenses. And therefore, with that happening and also Russell Wilson throwing him the ball, I believe that Jerry Judy will also play a big part in this Broncos passing game. But ladies and gentlemen, if this pass game fully opens up, it also means that it opens up a run game that had two 900 plus yard backs last year with Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon. If this pass game opens up and becomes scary, then it is a paved road for the run game to face less stacked boxes than it did last year and they still balled out. If this pass game explodes, then the offense will have a massive advantage of becoming a two dimensional offense. So look, whether it's the run game or an elite pass game, I just believe that the Broncos will at least have one thing that is lethal about this offense that they can just throw at a defense and give them a problem with, no matter if it's the pass game or the run game. And even if their pass game isn't elite, like I said, it's still going to be competent. It's not going to be anything compared to last year with Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. But people, get ready for this 2022 Denver Broncos offense. If you want to see what I think other teams' fan bases should be excited about in 2022, go check out the other individual videos of what I think your NFL fan base should be excited about in 2022 here on the Ultimate Sports TV. Other than that, this has been Malik Hicks, aka the ranker of the Ultimate Sports TV, signing off. Peace out, and I'll see you on the other side.